Hey guys, I am going to be showing you how to do a tile background for Twitter. Uh, we open files, new. Make sure you have those measurements, the width is 350 and the height is 525. Okay. And control open for all and then what face to come up and then you choose the pictures you want to use I'm going to use um Okay, I'm going to use those Kevin ones. Make sure the background is nearly the same color, like white. Use those Kevin ones. And then again, I use actions. You don't have to do that, but I use it just to edit the picture. Most important thing about using Photoshop, um, just if you do a mistake, it's only redo the last mistake you did. You can't redo two after each other. So, for example, if I want to redo something in this one, edit, under sharpen, and here, if you open this one, last thing, last thing down there, sharpen. It just does that, so be careful. It's one of the bad things about Photoshop. And go back up. Yes. If this comes up, it's normal. Okay, let me close this. Okay, so you use the move tool. Make sure that the move tool is the thing you're using, and then move it. Just click on it. Click on the picture. Don't let go. Then go onto the file you just created, and then just release it in the middle. Okay. Click Control P, and those like things will appear. You use them to like adjust your picture, like how big you want it to be. I'm going to do it like this. Then this order. It's also editable. You can do it anytime you want. And then yeah. And then go back to the motor. Just click on this. Will come up. Just click apply. If you see the um the dotted box under the move tool, you click that one and then you select the the part of the picture you don't want to use, and then you use the erase tool to like erase it. And then you go back to that dotted thing, then right click and deselect. So now you have this, and if you still need to edit it, just click Control P, and then edit it however you want it. Or you can go a little bit taller. Yeah, good. Then move them, apply them. Okay. And then this is the one I just use. Just like I said, don't use it anymore. I'm for example, gonna use this one next. Just. Drag it around the shape to move tool and drag it around to stop it by. And then click it again.
Hmm, then you make it. A front. You won't use all this, so we'll try. If you follow along these simple steps, you should almost get it right, because this isn't like one of the big normal clear backgrounds. This one's much easier. And using your up and down arrows on your keyboard, you could actually move that dotted rectangle thing. And there is this is the last right there. Yes. Um, okay, no. Just make sure it's moved off. Drag it down. Drop it. Then cut it. No, fine. Okay, now we're done with the pictures. So, yeah, so we need to go like a little bit up. Good. Okay. Um, I sometimes do that. I go to layers, one right, third one from bottom, and then this one I just use it sometimes as like vivid light or something. No. Okay. Maybe hard light. Yeah. See, it just like changes. No, it won't show because the background be yellow. The background is really light, so it won't show up as the normal. But sometimes you get the backgrounds like darker, but in this case it's not, so never mind. Then to add text, go to left one, click on some bottom text. Alright, just spread down whatever you want. Press the cursor at all, which is like a Kevin Jonas. And just like double click it. Color's fine. I just need to change the size. Bigger. And um, at the same time, even this one is editable with the control C thing. If you just use control C. So, this is how I do my backgrounds. And just move along and you'll be fine. Thank you guys, and I hope I helped.